What's up everybody? It's Lucas from the Yes to Life show and today we're making one of my top five favorite recipes ever pretty much. Um, this is Pat Kapow, which is a Thai, like a very famous Thai dish. And I always used to eat this in the sauna, uh, which is kind of a weird place to eat it. But in Bangkok, in the sauna, they serve it. It tastes super amazing. And usually it's either with pork or with chicken. But in this case, we're gonna use like minced tofu. Um, so the first step, the whole dish is super easy. You don't really need to cut anything. Um, it's actually, you, you don't need a cutting board, which is pretty nice. So we start by getting a pan ready. And then we're going to fry the tofu until it gets a little bit brown, until all the water is out. Um, alternatively, you could also press the tofu and then uh, crumble it. Um, but I like to take the, use the first uh, version. And then in the meantime, we can already prepare um, the chili and the garlic. So if you have a mortar, you can just um, use the mortar and uh, make it into a paste. Um, and in this case, I'm actually using a food processor. So just give it a couple of pulses. You don't want it to be too thin. Um, just mix about five garlic glass and five chilies in my case. You can use less chilies if you want. Um, and you're gonna prepare it like this. So then once the tofu is getting a little bit brown and all the water is out, you can just take it out for now. And then we're going to add the chilies and the garlic into the pan with one tablespoon of coconut oil. And then we're just gonna fry it for a couple of seconds. So maybe 20 seconds or something like this. And then we're adding the tofu again. Um, just stew it throughout, let it cook for one or two minutes. And then we're adding the sauces. So in this case, that's about a tablespoon of each and a tablespoon of light soy sauce, a tablespoon of dark soy sauce, and a tablespoon of mushroom sauce. And then also I'm using a teaspoon of so uh, sugar in this case, or you can use any type of sweetener if you want. Um, and then just stir it together, let it cook for another one or two minutes. And then you add about a handful of Thai basil, and then you turn on the heat or turn it to very low. Just stir it together because you don't want to, to overcook the basil. It's a very delicate herb. Um, and then only once it's getting a little bit softer, you take it off completely. And then you have a beautiful Thai uh, recipe that took less than pretty much 15 minutes to do. No cutting involved. Um, so you can forget about your cutting board for this one. It's super delicious. And usually people uh, enjoy it with rice. In this case, I use brown rice, um, but you can use white rice. Jasmine rice, of course, uh, is the regular version. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more recipes.